if you go to the AWS marketplace and put in the search bar Curator IBM, you are presented with this option. Let's set up first a console in Curator. And you do that, that by clicking in the first option, obviously. Again, you're going to be paying Amazon some money for hosting your environment. And you need to bring your Curator license. So you click Continue to subscribe. It's pretty straightforward. Subscribe to this software. You know you need to agree with the terms and conditions, and you know all that good stuff. Continue with the configuration. And in here, there are several things you need to select. First. Uh, the region. I'm going to select Ohio. Continue to launch. I'm going to select launch from the website. The type of instance that you are running depends on the amount of memory. I'm taking all the defaults here. And below, and I'm not going to scroll down not to, to avoid, you know, sharing some information that might be sensitive. Uh, you need to specify the BPC that you are using, uh, the security group and the keeper. So I, I, I'm obviously already logging into my uh, AWS account. So I'm going to set those up and I'll be right back. So I place those parameters in there. I'm covering this with this uh, white stuff here and I'm going to click launch. Once you do that, you are presented with a screen similar to this, and you need to click here on the on this link to look at that instance. I'm going to do that, but I need to cover again some parts of the information that I have on the screen. So I'll show you that right away. So the instance is this second one that we see here uh, running, and uh, we need to wait until that gets that uh, check mark and the 2 over 2 uh, for uh, completion of that part. So I'm going to post the video until that happens. And this is what you want to see. So optionally, you can actually hover in here. And when you do, you get a pencil that when you click on it, you can put whatever name you want to give to that image, that instance, and click on the check mark and that gets there. Now, Regardless of whether you want to do that or not, you need to actually go down here where I have all discovery and I again apologize for not making not making this more explicit. And you're going to find a place where the public IP is in there and if you hover over over it you'll find a an option to copy that to the clipboard. You need to copy that because you need to SSH into it. Let me actually pause the video and do that. So to SSH into that instance, to monitor the progress of the installation, you do SSH-I. And I have already my key pair. I'm not going to go to that uh, in this video, because if you have an AWS account, you have yours. So I created a set of keys for this particular video that I have in, in that directory. Uh, you put EC2-user at, and then that public IP address. And I'm going to be deleting this. Uh, instance once I'm done with the video. Uh, so if you are using, this is a Mac, but if you're using Windows, you, you use PuTTY or, or whatever else you actually want to use. And you hit enter, and the first time it asks you to validate that you want to add that to your key ring. And here you are in inside the instance. So once you are in the instance, in fact, let me, let me actually clear the screen, get all this out. All you need to do, and this is in the instructions that when you see the in the marketplace, if you click on the link, you'll find all these uh, all these uh, com only this command is really that that simple. How to install? And if I'm correct, this should start the installation process. So this is going to take quite a bit of time. I mean, as you see, it's installing the console. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and I will resume once uh, this is finished. But as you see, the process is very straightforward. You need to have your own credentials. Uh, 
your PPC settings, your keys, and all that. And of course, if you ever use the, if, if it's the first time that you're using the keys in AWS, remember to change the mode, CH mode 400, and then the the file that contains your keys. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Pause in the video and get back whenever this is uh, complete. Well, that took more than an hour. And this is asking you now to set a password. Notice that this is not the root password, but it's the password to log in into the console. So I'm going to set mine. And that should do it. All is left to do is uh, I open a browser and put HTTPS and the IP address, that IP address that I did the SSH into it. And uh, this is normal for the sales sign certificate. Oops, sorry. I meant to click here on advance, add exception, confirm security exception. I can make that permanent. And okay, this is different in Firefox or or in uh, and here we we have we have we can put the user ID and password and we are in our instance of curator in AWS. Of course, because this is a bring your own license, you need to apply your license. And you know how to do that. Well, as you see, it's a very simple process. I'm gonna also do a video for how you set up a managed host, how you instantiate the managed host, and then you will add that in the normal way that you do it on-prem, on a curator uh, system on-prem.